Now to a developing story. They are desperate for safety and seeking asylum. Migrants are headed to Tijuana by the hundreds. And 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is at the border right now where many of them are arriving tomorrow. Anthony? Well, many of them left Central America about a month ago. We're talking about families with children escaping gang violence, close to 700 expected at the border. Riding on top of cargo trains, these are people fleeing violence from Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. They don't have tickets for the train. They just jump when they have the, the opportunity. Jorge Nieto says it shows the desperate state many of them are in. Nieto is a freelance journalist. He caught up with us on a video call from Tijuana, where he is following the group's journey. This video was taken this weekend as the group makes its way through Mexico towards the U.S. border. This 17-year-old is one of many on the caravan. He says he left Honduras because of gangs in his home country, hassling him, threatening to kill him if he didn't join them. The plan is to throw themselves at the mercy of the U.S. for safety. And they going to walk through directly to the U.S. Customs Border officers and say, I'm from Honduras, I'm from El Salvador, I'm not carrying a weapon, and I'm seeking for a political asylum or I'm seeking for a refugee status. In the past few weeks, President Trump has long been vocal about the caravan trying to enter the U.S. Today he tweeted, I have instructed the Secretary of Homeland Security not to let these large caravans of people into our country. People, our families, our families, most of them, they don't look like a dangerous people. They look like a people very, very, very scared and trying to put his life on safe because they say if they stay in their country, they're going to die. And the ATO says they could be at the border as early as tomorrow. We will stay on top of this developing story. We're reporting live near the border. Anthony Pura, 10 News.